I think aging happens by default, and I'm going to tell you why. Uh, the human organism is organized in a series of hierarchical structures where information flows depending on the structural integrity of these structures. From the fusion of the gametes until the end of the lifespan, a permanent reorganization takes place in these structures. And one source of change is cell division. Uh, because of the concept of uh, semi-conservative DNA synthesis, it was thought that the two sister cells after division are identical. We measured DNA content in sister cells and found that cell division is asymmetric. This shows the differences in the amount of uh, DNA between daughter cells, in young uh, cells, where most differences stay below 8 to 9%, but we can find already differences as high as 16%. In uh, older cells, uh, uh, most cells, uh, the differences but in most sister cells is below 13%, but one can find already uh, for, uh, cells with 48% differences. Uh, this shows the distribution of DNA contents during aging of a, a fibroblast uh, cell population at different ages, and as you see, the distribution is always a Gaussian distribution, but the differences becoming increasing, increasingly spread out, uh, showing that the, the differences in cells increase with aging. Uh, Gaussian distribution on probit paper uh, presents a straight line, and this is so during the most of the lifespan of the cells, but at the very end there is a phase transition and uh, there is a break in the straight line showing a chaotic separation of DNA between sister cells. This shows uh, the, we measured newly synthesized DNA after the time it is labeling, and this shows the number of grains on sister cells if the distribution is even, and this line uh, calculated with a computer program shows uh, significant deviations from the ideal distributions. Another source for change through cell division is the reorganization occurring in the structure of DNA. DNA is organized in a series of hierarchical structures from the DNA helix uh, that folds into uh, 10, uh, an 11 nanometer fiber with the nucleosomes, which folds again in, in a 30, a 30 nanometer fiber, then the chromonem, the chromatid, and finally the chromosome. And there are changes that occur in all these hierarchical uh, structures. First, at the gene level, we measure the hybridization signal for the alpha globin and v level, level uh, gene and for the uh, beta actin gene. And you see there is an attenuation of the uh, hybridization signal uh, for these genes. Not all regions are so unstable though. Uh, for instance, the interferon gene does not change through the age of the cells. There are uh, changes in the structure of the 11 nanometer beads on a string fiber, is in young cells, and this is old cells. Also, uh, uh, there is a change in DNA structure of the 30 nanometer fiber. Uh, here shows young cells and old cells, the nucleolus region and the nucle nucleoplasm and there is a difference, uh, the density, for instance, of the fiber 
declines progressively with cell division measured with a computer uh, program. Uh, there is a change in the number of chromosomes. Uh, in the, there are different defects that occur in uh, chromosomes, dicentric, breaks, uh, uh, ring chromosomes, translocations, in, in pericentric uh, in inversions or pericentric inversions. Non-dividing cells also change. One source of change concerns the decline on the flexibility of molecular conformation. Molecules to perform a biochemical reaction have to assume a conformation for binding with other uh, molecules and accomplish the biochemical reaction. Phosphorylation is one of the tools to induce the right conformation of a molecule for, for a biochemical reac reaction to take place. The other tools to induce a change in conformation are energy consuming, such as gradients of electric uh, potential created through current of electrons, protons, ions, which activate energy bar barriers. A decreased mitochondrial oxidative phosphorylation during aging with impaired cellular metabolism has been described. The change in the flexibility of conformation at the molecular level reflects at other structural levels. These are cells, young cells and old cells with the morphology changes due to a reorganization of their cytoskeletal elements. This represent, uh, shows the connective tissue, young and uh, old connective tissue, where it's very obvious the structural reorganization that, that uh, takes place. And of course, uh, as is all in bone, this is dramatic reorganization that creates a structure that is not anymore ad adequate for uh, function. The second law states that all systems spontaneously change in such a way as to decrease their capacity for subsequent change, that is to approach equilibrium. During aging, the organism follows the second law. It evolves continuously and irreversibly at the different levels of its structure, molecular, cellular, tissue, and organ level. The structural changes drive functional modifications tending to a limit. In terms of energy, I use this uh, schematic representation from Peter Atkins in the, his book, The Second Law, as one can see, uh, imagine that energy is concentrated in the organism after formation of the zygote. But during progression through age, and with each reorganization, energy becomes dispersed with entropy of the system increasing inexorably to a limit. This explains the flattening of the mortality curve in a human population is because of this progressive increase in uh, entropy with a decrease in free energy available. Hence, there is no alternative to aging. Thank you.